this weekend is YCS Minneapolis, and I'm actually signed up to go for the main event. It'll be my first ever time going to a YCS, so hopefully we do well. And to this event, I decided that I want to go kind of brain dead mode, so we're bringing, so we're bringing. Eldritch, but not just any Eldritch, Dogmatica brand Eldritch. Let's get right into it. First for Eldritch package, we got two of the Golden Lord himself. I only want two because he's kind of a brick going first. You can just get stuck on a lot of them in hand. One Black Awakening. You don't want more than one of this because if you are going second, it forces your Eldritch into defense position, but it's really good as a set to have Eldritch pop to add it back to your hand. Two Curse Eldland. Again, it's kind of a brick, especially in this deck where it forces you to only attack the zombies, but of course, it's a great synth Eldritch, and it searches you all of your gold land cards. Next, we have Triple Scarlet Sanguine, the best searcher in the deck. Special summoning Eldritch at instant speed from your graveyard or your deck is a great time. Triple Conquistador, uh, popping on a trap monster is really good. It beats Darker Lore no more because it results as a trap card instead of a monster card. Being able to pop the level twos from the sprite board is very strong as well. One of the best cards in this deck. And then two Huakero, being able to banish any of the annoying monsters from our friendly little tier elements player's graveyard is always great and always appreciated. You go up to three, but there are some matches that this just doesn't really do anything. Next, let's move on to our branded package. So we got three branded fusion, of course. Uh, the biggest ash magnet in the deck, but that's okay because sometimes you just kind of want to bait out the ash. We have two Fallen of Albaz, just in case we need to do it again. Or sometimes, you know, Albaz isn't a terrible normal summon. You can use him as a super poly if you really need to. That's it for the uh, main deck brand edition. Then we got one Ecclesia. She searches all of your Dogmaticas. Generally, you're gonna grab Punishment, but if Punishment's in hand, you can grab, of course, Fleur de Lis. Instant Speed, Special Summon it. And then, of course, if you have a uh, Dogmatica out, you can negate an effect. And it makes all your stuff really big when you attack with Dogmaticas. Double Nadir Servant. Three isn't quite how I want to play it, but it's a great card. It's your Ecclesia. It sends your Titanic Cloud so you can search your Flirtily in the end phase. Fantastic card. And finally, of course, the one Punishment. Very strong trap card. Pops anything. For our generic spells and trap, we got one Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave, of course, is a ban-worthy card. It's quite possibly the strongest spell card in the game right now, at least strongest generic. We have Triple Skill Drain, the most based card in this deck. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Skill Drain's a base card. Anyone who says otherwise, Shouldn't be friends with them. Triple Rivalry of Warlords. Very strong against the Tier Limits matchup. However, uh, not as great against the Sprite matchup. This is a very easy thing to side out, but it hoses a ton of decks. Three Spell Smell. Again, just hoses all those rogue decks you're going to be seeing in the first couple rounds. Maybe not as good at later, but it takes care of things. Triple Infip. I really like Infip this format. Being able to quick effect negate something and then also turn off a column is really nice. Then we're playing Psalm Grade, so we're playing two Strike and two Judgment. This is really important for sprites. If you're able to keep them off of twos, they cannot continue with their plays. And this is a big thing, keeping sprite off of twos, because I expect to see a lot of sprite this uh, weekend. Next, on to the extra deck, where things get a little spicy and a little janky, if I'm being honest. So, we're going to start with our fusion monsters here. We have the... Two Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade's a fantastic boss monster. Quick effect banish. Then, of course, when it dies by an opponent's card, Ragaki the field, very strong. Two Albion to bring him out. And a Lubellion because it's extra fodder. We have the one Titanic Lad for sending off of Nadir Servant and searching your Ecclesia and your Flirtilies. And an Entis to send off of the Punishment for a double pop. Then for our Xyz monsters, these are actually very important. Two Pleiades to make off of our trap monsters. Very good. Just returning something to the hand at quick effect is really, really useful. Then I'm running a train package of Gustav, Max, and Lieb. No one ever sees it coming, even though I'm playing rank 10s. It's very strong. You can use Gustav, Max, win time, or Lieb is just a great way to OTK. And finally, of course, the one Zeus, because playing these monsters, you got to run Zeus. And for a Link lineup, they're kind of filler, but, you know, we got the one Link spider, quick Link off any of our... Um, trap monsters, get them in the graveyard if I need to search a Elixir. Uh, Unicorn, if it comes up, it comes up. And Axis Code Talker, I don't think it's going to come up, but you know what? It's funny, and I my Linus didn't arrive in the mail, so it's going there instead. Finally for the side deck, which is somewhat teched out, but not quite. So we got a small Zombie World package. This is specifically for Flu. I don't think I have a great Flu matchup, so having an extra option on the sideboard is really helpful. Two Radian, 
Uh, Kaijus are just very helpful. It doesn't get over a Eldritch in defense position, and it doesn't get over a boosted Eldritch. The one obligated Harpy's Feather Duster is just such a great going second card. Triple Dark Ruler, the tax of this format. You could run it main in any other deck, but because Eldritch is playing so many Floodgates already, you don't need to main it. But siding is really important. Triple Dimension Barrier is really good against any of the road decks we're going to see. It's also really good against Sprite because you can just turn off their Xyz monsters. Sure, they have Link plays, but they can't get to Gigantic Sprite. It makes their life a lot harder. And finally, Tikaboo. That'll help against the Sprite matchup because then they can only control one Thunder. And that's it. There are a few sus choices in here, but I actually really enjoy the deck a lot. It's a lot of fun, and being able to play control decks in this format is very fun when everyone's wombo comboing with the tier limits or if they're just like mid ranging you out with Sprites. Anyways, if you're there, I hope you'll say hi and you'll find out my record next week when I have the vlog out. See you then.